Hello everyone, Scapegoat Stephen back with another video match report. So this time uh, with uh, Fanitball Club Night, as usual, in the Digi Diner in Margate, Kent, UK. Uh, this is the first in our league games. So we've actually got a league currently ongoing in the, in the club. Uh, this is my first league game. I think there are 12 participants, including myself. We are locked into specific teams, although we can bring a different 12 to each game and then sort of play from there. So first round I drew Morticians. So after some drafting we end up with Blackheart Union into Scowpool. I'm on the left with the Union and on the right is Snez with his Morticians. Right, so beginning on the left hand side with the Union you've got Minx, Benediction Coin, Blackheart, Original Rage and Grace. On the right hand side you've got Casket, Skulk, Original Graves, Scalpel, who's kicking, Cosset and Dirge. So the kickoff, uh, which Snez chooses to re-roll, goes to exactly the same place, just in front of my lines there. Um, so um and are about where to allocate influence and who should go get the ball, knowing that how scalpel works and that she can just you know come in, move my people around. Uh, that was the reason for choosing Blackheart, by the way. I felt that uh, Veteran Rage can't control a scrum against Morticians. Um, potentially that was a mistake, but... Um, I, th I think it's the right call, in all honesty, because I don't think Veteran Rage gets to use all of his stuff. Uh, so anyway, I start with Coin, who jogs, snapping the ball, gets the free pass from Benediction, um, and passes to Benediction, and then puts Bag of Coffers on Minx. Casket will jog and buy two Ghostly Visages. Uh, Grace will put Quick Foot out on Original Rage, then she will jog and put it out on Minx as well, increasing both their threat ranges. Um, Graves puts Tooled up on Scalpel after jogging towards her. Pretty good, increases her damage output. Uh, Benediction puts up Braced and passes to Blackheart, then jogs forward. Not sure if this was the right choice, but I was trying to lure in Scalpel. Uh, and gets me a little bit set, sets, sets Benediction up for the scrum, I guess. Uh, so Skulk will jog, put up Horrific Odour. Um, Blackheart will then pass the ball to Rage. Yes, I do forget to shadow like here. Um, I choose not. To, I'm not. I don't want to go into that horrible mess over there. So instead, I jog forward, put misdirection up on Scalpel. Um, so I steal the the influence and I give it to Grace. Not that she can use it; she's already activated. And then pass the turn. So Dirge just jogs forward. Again, Minx is really good, but I don't really want to be throwing Minx into that horrible mess that's going to happen there. Especially because she's a 4-0 against Scalpel, so no chance. So she goes for her now 9-inch jog, thank you, Quickfoot. And she'll throw an axe at Scalpel, uh, doing 3 damage and snared. She'll then dodge backwards, thanks to um, Back to the Shadows, and she'll go behind that cover, um, that obstruction, um, just in front of my deployment line, just to try and keep her safe from Scalpel. Uh, Cosset will jog and she will lure in Blackheart. Now I completely and utterly forgot that Cosset has lure because I don't play against Cosset very often. Our local tends to prefer the Veteran Graves, uh, horrible uh, ball-killing horrificness bunker that is Morn. Uh, therefore Cosset doesn't come up so often when I've played him. Um, what I should have done here was I should have used Rage to pass to Blackheart and then backed off with both of them. Kept the, the initiative advantage for the moment. Force Scalpel to come into me, then, you know, lost initiative, but then dealt with her next turn. Instead, what I did was I passed to Grace, dodged forward four, and charged Scalpel myself. Um, I ended up rolling too many dice, uh, I'll be honest here. Um, I'm, again, not hugely familiar with Ghostly Visage, um, so we do have a we do roll both the attacks out and then realise what I've done, so we go back and, and, and re roll the attacks instead. Um, again, because of me making that mistake that Ghostly Visage drops you by the two uh, two, um, two dice on the charge. So what ends up happening was she does defensive stance, um, but I get Momentous 2 on the initial attack and a knockdown on the Berserk attack. Just to try and force him to... Hopefully the plan here is Scalpel has to sacrifice movement to stand up, attacks me, I can get a knockdown on the return, and she wastes her turn. Um... So she does indeed sacrifice movement to stand. I do declare a counter-attack. She does a non-momentous one up to two because I tooled off. And then she drags in rage. I bonus time the counter-attack 
and I'm one, one net success short of that knockdown, so I get just two damage. Then Scalpel starts wailing on him, does a Momentous 2 up to 3, followed by a Momentous 2 up to 3, followed by a Momentous 3 up to 4, and a non-Momentous 4 up to 5 to just take him out. Um, takes it And then heals herself by 4 as well. And that makes it 0-2 in favour of the Morticians uh, with a healthy momentum lead because I squandered all mine um, during that set of attacks. So we end up with me on 1 on the Union and the Morticians on 3 momentum to decide the start of next turn. So I actually was quite lucky with my card draw, I'll be honest. I don't think I had anything below a 3 or a 4. Uh, so I play keep the ball moving, and uh, my opponent plays go for the knees. So obviously morticians are going to take initiative this turn. Now, the plan here was that if he goes after Blackheart, Blackheart's got a pretty good counter-attack, force him to, to spend on a spirit bomb to push me back into melee, or just abandon the whole plan. So I thought if I... If I load up Blackheart, I can set up Scalpel. You know, I can smack her about a bit, hopefully get Butchery off, um, knock her down, you know, something like that. So Scalpel comes in and attacks Blackheart, and I do declare the counter-attack. He gets a Momentous 3 on that initial attack, and Blackheart rolls poorly and manages just a single dodge on the counter-attack, which uh, is not great, um, and doesn't get him out of uh, out of melee with her. Um, as you can see, he dragged Blackheart in with the, the pushes that she has. Um, then she does a Momentous 3, a Momentous 3, a non-Momentous 4, and a non-Momentous 1 on the wrap, and then a Momentous 2. Um, you can see as as we're going through these attacks that Scalpel is fully using that push ability to her advantage to then get more gang ups, making it much easier to get the takeout, which she manages. So it's actually 0 4, and I've just lost 6 influence on Blackheart. So as you can probably guess from my perspective, yes, he's used his six influence. I've used six of mine. So we've both used half our influence in one foul swoop. So I then... Uh, oh, yeah, she actually has an attack spare as well. So she's managed to second wind herself and run away uh, after clearing conditions. So she's no longer got snared. So obviously I go into the tanker for a little bit here going, what do I do? Uh, in the end, got to do something. So, coin, bag of coffers, benediction, and just jogs. Graves puts tooled up on Cosset to try and set her up to come in and probably kill either Minx or Benediction uh, with the assist from Dirge. And then he just jogs forward to create like a scrum line protecting um, Scalpel. So, I go with Benediction, who I, ch I charge Cosset, who defensive stances. Um, and I managed to get a momentous double push. So again, I'm trying to push her back towards Minx. Um, and I believe I even bonus time that attack just to try and make sure it happens. Uh, and then I do another attack and get a momentous single push. So she is engaged by Benediction, but Benediction is not engaged by her, if that makes sense. So, Casket will jog to Benediction and make an attack. I declare my poised counter-attack. He only manages a momentous two, and I get the counter attack double push to get him out of melee with me. Um, Benediction is survivable in in this version, um, especially because he now has a healing aura. So as long as you can, as long as they can't one round him, um, you can generally keep him going for quite a bit. So you've got two influence still on Casket. So Casket puts out two ghostly visages. Um, Minx goes next. Minx uses that free pass from Benediction to pass to Grace. Uh, three dice because I keep the ball moving. And she goes for a jog to Cosset. Goes base to base and buys an attack, which Cosset does counter-attack. Now I've got the plus one dice because I've got a friend. And I roll pretty hot, I'll be honest. Uh, momentous four double dodge on that first attack. So I literally drop a single miss. But it does then snare her. The counter-attack comes in and only gets a single dodge. So I attack again. Uh, Managed to get a non-momentous three and a marked target onto Casket. Mostly because I'm trying to get Rage back in there. Um, then I do a Momentous 3 dodge, and a Momentous 3 dodge for the takeout. So that puts it to 2-4, um, the Morticians being obviously on the 4, and I dodge to, make, to engage Casket. And actually I've ended up with both Minx and Benediction engaging Casket here. So Dirge goes for a jog, nice and easy. Um, 
Grace puts Quick Foot on Rage so that he can get in. Uh, and then she heals Rage by four because I've got quite a bit of momentum from that take out on Cossett. And then she jogs into the cover. Uh, Skulk will jog forward. Um, and then I believe it's time for Rage. So I think what I end up having to do here is I have to spend... So I'll spend to heal, spend to glide, uh, and then spend to heroic to give him tooled up. Casket will defensive dance and counter attack. Uh, I charge, get momentous two, goes up to three from tooled up, but back down to two because of tough hide. Then the counter attack comes in, does two damage, and then my berserk attack does the knockdown, which sets casket up as a two one for the following turn. Now I did spend quite a bit of, of momentum there, but I'm still winning three to one at this stage. So I'm glad I played the card I played now, um, given what happens in this turn. So I play Grudge Match, um, and the Morticians play Don't Touch the Hair. So they put Poised on to Casket, and Grudge Match also goes on Casket, but Grudge Match also goes on Original Rage. So he's probably going down like a sack of potatoes. Uh, I think he is back at full health, because between the, the healing for 8 and Benediction's healing aura, I think he's actually in quite a good position. As you see, Cossets uh, coming back on on that fast ground on the bottom part three. Yes, the the so the terrain for Longshanks purposes that's two fast grounds near the camera and four obstructions scattered further away from the camera towards the clock. So I'm going to start with Minx and she's going to attack Casket. Um, you know he's a two one right now, so she manages to get the momentous four, but down to three. Double dodge, um, which pulls her, I believe, out of Dirge's melee range to then give her more another attack back. Uh, second attack, bear in mind I now get an extra dice because he's defence 1 because of snared. Does a momentous 4 slash really 3 and a momentous 3 down to 2 on the wrap. Followed by a momentous 4 down to 3 and a momentous 3 down to 2 on the wrap. So you can see generating a lot of momentum here. And the final attack does a momentous 4 down to 3 and a momentous 3 down to 2. Takes out casket. Big, big important bit there. Um, anyone who's played against morticians before will know that casket's 4 point. Kill activation is horrible, so that takes us to 4-4. Four, four. And then she'll use her dodge to get back into cover, because I do not want Scalpel taking out Minx. So, Graves will then tool up Scalpel, um, so that she can do horrible Scalpel things again. And he walks to Benediction and attacks. Benediction declares the poised counter-attack. He does one damage and the bleed to me, and the counter-attack with a bonus time does a double push to get him out of melee. Um, again, not that it matters hugely because of um, the way that, that Scalpel does all her movement stuff. So in hindsight, maybe I should have just knocked him down. So Blackheart will Shadow Like, Sprint and Legendary and hit everyone on my team. So everyone has plus one defence now. Scalpel will walk into Rage and declare an attack. Rage declares a counter-attack. And she gets a Momentous Spirit Bomb, which hits both Rage and Benediction. Um allowing her to push Benediction out of melee so that she's no longer losing any any dice. Uh, the counter-attack does just a single point of damage. So she starts buying attacks. She does uh, non-momentous one uh, up to two because of tooled up. Does a momentous two up to three, another momentous two up to three, a moment, uh, momentous three up to four, and then a momentous two up to three for the takeout. So she does go in with a lot of attacks. Uh, grudge match, pushing and pulling our own people in. Um, it's all really helped get the uh, get the tack high enough to get the tank out. Again, he is defence 5 right now, and that kept him going for a little bit longer than it probably should have. But obviously Scalpel's, uh, Scalpel's anatomical no use here against Rage because he is just that 4-0 model. Again, maybe I shouldn't have charged Rage up in there. Um... So that's him taken out twice now so far this game. Um, I think we're still still final attack. Just sort of pushing everyone around. Getting that take out on range. As you see, it's a lot of dice going on here now. Between all the gang ups and uh, and singled out being on rage. Not very good. Um so I spent a while deciding what do I do. I need to get Benediction away from Cosset um, because she won't probably won't kill him unless Dirge gets involved. But I'd rather not 
anyway. Um, so Benediction will charge at Scalpel, who does defensive stance. Um, I managed to get a single uh, momentous push. I declare another attack and uh, declare counter attacks. I've pulled her into one one inch melee of me now. Um, I bonus time and attack and get another single momentous push. Um, these dice against a four one, not the greatest, um, but swings and roundabouts. It's how dice work. Um, the counter attack gets a single successful push as well, um, and my final attack does a another momentous single push. So I've got three inches of pushes. And three momentum out of four influence there. Not Benediction's greatest showing. Um, Skulk will jog to attack Benediction and just rolls really badly and nothing happens. Um, coin Bag of Coffers Grace and then jogs to engage Scalpel because um, more gang ups will be useful for next turn. Uh, Dirge goes for a jog to engage Benediction. Uh, Grace will then jog to attack Scalpel. Uh, staying in the cover, she has got the ball as well, remember. Uh, gets no misses. All all of her dice hit uh, with the two gang ups. Um, so she gets a non momentous she gets a momentous two and a non momentous one on the wrap. And then her next attack does a non momentous one, and then she uses her talisman to use her healing light ability on Benediction to heal him by three. Cossack will then sprint and she will heal Scalpel um, to try and keep Scalpel alive next turn. And that's a really important activation there. So, the Union have eight momentum to the Mort's three. Um, and I play Keep Your Chin Up, and the Morticians play Midfield General. So, I'm looking here. I've got first activation. I want Minx to kill Scalpel. You know, she's got three gang ups. Uh, she is going to be crowded out by Skulk, so she's got two extra dice. She's rolling seven dice here. Um, against a, a, a 4 1 on the initial attack and a 3 1 on all the follow ups. So,. I'm hoping here we should be able to just, you know, hit a bunch of threes. Um, I believe Scalpel is on 13, so I do need to hopefully hit one of those, that four damage higher up the playbook at some point. So we go in, uh, we do a momentous three on the first attack, and obviously that snares her. I am base to base with Scalpel as well. Uh, I then bonus time and attack, and again, don't hit that top end, I get the momentous three. A bonus time the next attack, get another momentous three. And bonus time, the final attack, getting another momentous three. So I leave Scalpel on one health um, with a fully loaded stack, I believe, as well. Um, so Scalpel will then clear conditions and attack Minx. Uh, I do declare a counter attack, so she's got one health. I can kill her. Easy. Um, provided she doesn't push me away, but it forces the push away. So Scalpel fluffs it. Doesn't get a single hit. No hits. Um, Minx comes in with the counter attack, does exactly the same, nothing, misses completely. Um, so she then attacks Minx again, does one damage and pushes Benediction. She then does another attack on Scout on Minx, sorry, uh, does two damage, dodge and pushes Minx. She then attacks Grace because obviously Grace has got the ball. Um, tackle the ball and push Blackheart. She will then attack Grace again and do a momentous three. Pushing herself um, sort of through my lines and out of engagement with anyone. Uh, she'll then go for a jog and shoot a tap in goal. That is 4 10 now in favour of the Morticians. Uh, it's not looking so great for the Union, but I do have a one health scalpel right next to me. Um, and as you can see, I've got Black Heart on a full stack. So I do kick the ball out, and it, it, I'll be honest, it doesn't go very well. It goes all the way off onto the flank. Uh, which is not great if I'm then going to try and kill Scalpel. Um, so I try and figure out here. Who, well, I need to try and stop his use of his influence. So I'm going to activate Blackheart and go after Cosset. So I'm going to Shadow Like and then charge Cosset. Uh, Cosset, I believe, does call a defensive stance. She does because I have a two-inch melee. Uh, I managed to get a momentous one double dodge on the first attack to get me out of uh, engagement with. Uh, dirge, so that Dirge um, doesn't provide a crowd out. Uh, then I managed to get a non-momentous two on the next attack, followed by a momentous three double dodge, and the final attack does a bonus. I uh, bonus time it and get a non-momentous two to get that takeout, which then removes Cosset's influence from the board. Which again, that's quite a big one this turn. 
Um, that takes it to 6-10 in favour of the Morticians. I'm going to heal Benediction with my Keep the Chin Up card, just to try and keep him topped up so that he doesn't go down to, to what's left. So Graves uh, is going to make an attack on Benediction, and Benediction is going to declare his counter-attack. Uh, he manages to get a non-momentous 3 and bleed off, um, while my counter-attack does a non-momentous 1. He will then do a follow-up attack and get a non-momentous 1 on Benediction. So just chipping away, chipping away. Um, I decide, do I, can I go in with Rage at this stage? Um, although looking at it, Scalpel really is Rage's only target. So instead we go with Grace. And Grace goes towards Skulk. She'll heal Benediction again with her AoE healing using Talisman. And she'll get a Mementus 2 on Skulk, followed by a second attack of a non-Mementus 1. Just again, chipping away, a little bit of damage, just trying to spread it out so that when I do get going in with Rage or, or Blackheart or Minx, I can kill one or two models pretty easily. So Skulk attacks Benediction and gets a Mementus double push. Uh, just again for the momentum. Uh, Coin will... Realise that he hasn't gone yet, so he'll bag a coffers himself, and he'll attack Skulk. And he manages to get the wrap and get the non-momentous one twice. Uh, again, it's another chip bit of damage in there. Uh, Casket will sprint, Rage will charge Scalpel, get a momentous three for the takeout, taking it to 8-10 in favour of the Morticians. Uh, but Dirge and Benediction uh, decide they don't mind staying where they are, although in hindsight I probably should have backed Benediction off. So at the moment we're on five uh, momentum for the Union and one for the Morticians. So the Union are going to play Sell It to the Crowd and the Morticians are going to play Seize the Initiative. Now we've got this, this horrible bit of fast ground and both Cosset and Scalpel coming on. And actually Snez at this stage decides to leave the ball, which I think is probably the right right option. He's only got to get one more takeout and, and then he's, he's happy. Um, and he gets the win, whereas I need a goal um, or a takeout, actually, which I didn't realise at the time. I thought I was only on eight points while we were playing the game. It's only from reviewing it I was on eight. Um, so actually, I only need a take. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm on eight at the moment. So I need either a goal or two takeouts. Um, and really, I don't really want to be going in this death ball down the bottom corner. So Minx and Graves will dodge, sorry, with the Seize the Initiative card. So Blackheart decides he doesn't want none of this. He's not staying over there near Graves or anyone. He'll shadow light backwards. He'll go for a jog round Dirge. Uh, Dirge will do a parting blow and get a single point of damage. So I'm going to attack Skulk. Uh, and Skulk will declare a counter attack. I get a grand total of a single net hit in on Skulk. Um, which So I get a momentous dodge. Uh, he will then counter attack. Bonus time. And again, he, he rolls pretty badly as well here and just gets a single point of damage. I then buy an attack, get a momentous butchery. Thank you. Uh, followed by a momentous two double dodge. Uh, I bonus time and attack to get a non momentous three um, with the guild ball symbol, but the guild ball doesn't really do anything unless I put the ball. Uh, bonus time and attack for a momentous four double dodge, and then spaff my final attack and do nothing. <laughs> um, managed to miss despite the, I think it's three gang ups there. So nine dice against a four one, nothing. Uh, heal myself by four uh, at the end of my activation. Um, just to try and keep Blackheart alive. So Graves is going to activate next. He is going to walk to engage Benediction. Uh, he, in the end, he decides to go base to base uh, when we discuss the ben what counter attacks Benediction has got. You know, Momentous two on, sorry, a push on two, but it's a double and a put single push on one. Uh, so he decides to go base to base. Um, he tools himself up. Uh, declares an attack, Benediction does poised, he does Momentous 2 and bleed. My counter-attack, I decide to go with the damage, because um, I'm not going to get momentum anyway, and I might as well try and soften him up in the hope that I can win next turn or later this turn. Um, he then attacks me and does a non-Momentous 3. Minx looks at where she is and goes, you know what, Skulk isn't really on that much health. Turns out he's on 2. What I probably should have done here was jogged in with Minx, smacked Skulk and then thrown an axe at um, Graves. Uh, instead, I went with going for the ball. I do throw the axe at Skulk and kill him uh, so that he is he's dead and he's gone. That puts us up to 10-10, I believe now. Um, and then she'll just go for a sprint to get the ball and then dodge forward for... Um, 
to try and be in, in the place for either a goal run or a charge and a kill or a charge, a bounce off goal run next turn off, off someone, something. Um, I was getting quite low on clock as well, so I started, I didn't really think that bit through. Uh, so Cossett is going to charge Benediction. Benediction is going to both defence stance and counter attack. Uh, she gets a momentous three up to four because of assist dirge being in there. Uh, I get the counter attack and I double push. So I'm like, no, I've had enough of that, enough of you, stay away. Um, so we're then looking at what what do we do next? Um, Cossett still has um, enough influence on her to lure. Uh, so Snares does try for a lure on her, um, on, on Benediction to pull him out um, of that sort of little death ball that's there, uh, just to make him easier to get to with Scalpel. Uh, unfortunately, he does miss with the uh, with the roll on Benediction. I think he snake eyes is it, actually. Uh, ironically, uh, Coin goes first, goes next even. He bag of coffers himself and sprints to try and block Scalpel, but I don't quite manage it, and Scalpel gets in there. Um, I believe at this stage Benediction's got like... 7 health or something, or maybe 10. Um, she does a momentous 3, and then pushes Coin out of the way, so he ha so she hasn't got a crowd out. She'll then do a non-momentous 1, uh, and I believe pull Cosset in for the extra dice, followed by a momentous 2 and a momentous 2. 10-12 in favour of the Morticians. 